Here's a question that's of a similar difficulty as Helen and Ivan's question. The figure is formed by five identical semicircles. Part A. What is the diameter of each semicircle? Part B. Use the calculator value of pi to find the parameter of your figure. Round your answer to two decimal places. In order to be able to finish the entire paper, leaving some time for checking, you should finish this question under 4 minutes. Pause the video and get doing! This question tests the student's ability to visualize and think flexibly before applying the concepts of circles. Mental flexibility is one of the most important executive functions that children need in order to solve math problem sums. And that is why at ILAC, we focus on the training of mental flexibility alongside the training of math heuristics so children can solve problem sums easily. With a good mental flexibility, students will be able to see that the length of 22 cm is the same as the length where the purple arrow is. Because both the semicircle is exactly the same, that will mean the unidentified gap is actually 10 cm. Since the pattern is repeated on both sides, the diameter of the semicircle is therefore 10 cm plus 16 cm plus 10 cm which gives us 36 cm. For part B, in order to find a parameter, we'll first have to find the circumference of the semicircle. Because the question says to use the calculator value of pi, simply press the calculator for pi, multiplied by the diameter times 5 times of it, plus 22 cm, 12 cm, 16 cm, 12 cm, and 22 cm to get the final answer of 366.74 cm rounded off to the nearest two decimal place. If Helen and Ivor's question is a 5 on the flip table index, this question will receive the same score. It is challenging due to the demand on students' mental flexibility and it is not a routine way of presenting circles questions. This is why stimulating students' mental flexibility is extremely important in academic training. Please like and click subscribe to get notifications for more PSLE questions.